Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Christine and today we are on the next episode of Treating the Pain. Today we'll be looking at cramps or period pain. A lot of women suffer from these. They'll have that abnormal cramping, the bloating, the fatigue, the exhaustion. All this happens while on your period and it could be super frustrating because it'll take, so, it'll take up so much from your day and from your time and you can't do what you want to do. So today we're going to be looking at some exercises to help alleviate that pain. And we're going to talk about other ways to also help with that pain. Some of it you may know and some of it will be new. And let's get started. Welcome back everyone. Today we have with us a dental student, Miss Clara and she'll be going and she'll be discussing with us the different poses that we could do to help with our cramping. So the first one, let's do this one together. We're gonna to be doing the butterfly pose. You're gonna go ahead into that triangular position. Mm -hmm. I, I lack that flexibility, but if you have it, that would be awesome. You go ahead and just bring your feet closer in and just hold that position and keep that posture nice and straight. This will really help with the cramping. Are you feeling all right in that position? Any tightness, any discomfort? No. Awesome. So that's the first position. You, hold, you would hold this for a few seconds and then slowly release. One leg at a time. The next one is super simple. The next one is just a nice little pike. And lean forward, breathe into it. You should be feeling this in the hamstring, the calves, and the low back. All right. You're doing a really good job. Thank you. Just hold into it for a little bit. Now slowly release that. Always go one vertebra at a time to a nice straight posture. Excellent. From there, we're gonna go into my favorite one. We're gonna do what we call child's pose in yoga. Child's pose is excellent for low back pain and for cramping as well. It's a really comforting position. There's two variations to this one. I'll show you and then you can go ahead and help us perform it. There is one option where you would have your knees closed you would be in this position and you would lean forward. Do you want to go ahead and try that? Sure. Just like this? Yep. And then go ahead, lean down into it. Excellent. With this position, you'll be working the low back, the mid back, and the shoulders. It's great for cramping. It's also a generally good stretch. That's type A. Type A, the legs are closed. Now type B. Go ahead and open the, the knees just a little bit. Yep. So this one will involve the hip flexors. Now go ahead and lean back down. So this one we're using more, uh, we're going into a deeper stretch. You're also involving the hips. Some patients prefer with the hips involved, some don't. That depends on your comfort and what you can handle. All right, go ahead, slowly back out of that. How does that feel? Feels good. Awesome, thank you. Thank That's you for awesome. helping me today. All right, welcome back everyone. So we just focused on the low back. So we focused on the lumbar spine with the exercise that we performed. So not only are these great for the lumbar spine, they're also great to help alleviate period pain. Now I did mention about different other ways to help with the pain. Some of this you may know, like for example, using a heat pack when you're in a lot of pain. Uh, don't go past 20 minutes with heat. That would be a little excessive. Always use a towel and put a heat pack on. Drink a lot of water and walk. Walking is great for that bloated sensation and the pain you might feel. Again, if you feel like your pain is unusual or is excessive, this is when you need to go speak to your OBGYN. Be aware of your health, be conscientious and track your period well, and anytime you feel something is wrong, do not be ashamed to talk to a doctor. That's their job. I hope you're doing well and take care. <laughs>